Hello and welcome back to Ixion. In our last episode, we finally started to uh, work on the Protagoras after we went out here and dealt with Chevy and the stuff around it. Um, uh, so somebody told me it probably is Chevy because uh, Chevy 34 is apparently a ZZ Top related thing, which I didn't know. Um, but thank you for the uh, for the hint or the reveal or the something. Uh, so we're we're here at the Protagoras now, and while we're still collecting the pods, we also went through started going through some of the event itself. And the Montessori has um, finished collecting all the signs that we had accumulated over the repair event or the repair task that we did the last time. Before we move on, though, I think I'd like to come in here and figure out something else to uh, work on. I think maybe we could do uh, continue this one. Shaping worker behavior, and then that gives me. Um, we don't need that yet. Uh, let's see. What do you have? No, maybe, but maybe. Um, you know what might be good is some of the crop farm stuff. Yeah, let's do uh, another round of this here. Okay, back out here, back into here. Uh, let's go into the Montessori or to the event rather. We have completed repairs to the superstructure of the Protagoras. As we were finishing our last tasks, an invitation was found that had been left for us. Some of the older members of the Protagoras wish to meet with us. So, if we Naomi protocol here with the elders, uh, then we will um, we will have a, an adverse event. Uh, that will be... Um, it'll give us a bunch of lore, but it'll kill two people. And so I don't know if we want to bother with doing this or not. I don't. I don't want to because I don't want to kill two people. But uh, the the uh, uh, Caesar cipher here says, I "Head it up," and then I close it. it. Says I am not a robot. It also says, "And they will end you with my help." So uh, that should give you a little hint um, as to what their intentions are going to be. So um, we do not want to to uh, to do that, but we do want to. Uh, do this reestablish internal infrastructure and food distribution and reboot the Protagoras core systems but we need to be in orbit of the Protagoras in order to do so because we need to connect to them so let's uh, fire up the old EKP engine uh, we should be plenty good on power four point something cycles this is a two cycle trip so let's do that engage And then we'll, uh, we'll go a little bit faster here just to let it run. But also, why are they not? Are they still collecting the pods? Hermes is. So Hermes must have been back at... Uh... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Caution. Entering extreme low temperature environment. Yep. And we're vulnerable to damage because of it. Uh, we're going to have to ship some of those pods elsewhere here. Um, did I set up a place for them yet? I did not. I think, I think we can put them in here, though. I think I actually a new request. New request. I also noticed that if you the the requests are shown here on this on the mini map, so you can actually see it here. All right. So no, we have to we have to be in space weather. I'm sorry. So little rain never hurt anybody. Uh, and we're just about there. We're gonna have to move some of these pods out of here eventually. Here. Ah, here we are. Cutscene too. Nice. Void structure class protagonist. All right, so here we are. I think we have to connect to them now with the cable, or maybe it does it automatically. It might be automatic. Uh, we're not moving anymore. Why are we still on battery? Maybe we are still moving slightly. Oh, we are still moving. There we are. Now we're here. Okay, so let's reestablish internal infrastructure and food distribution and reboot the Protagoras core systems. And I think I'm going to, again, send um, maybe El Terminator? Yeah, El Terminator. Because we can send from Sector 2 as easily as Sector 1 with those two items. I think we go to speed here. 
Um, let's see, we are at... Yeah, we're still good on people, uh, or on food, rather. Um, now we, we create... Um, I think it's... Yeah, 1.3 food per cycle. So, 1.3 times 9 is about 12. Uh, 12 food will feed 120 times 5, which is 600 people. So we're at about 1,200 people right now that we can handle. And as you can see, we're actually full on food, like full, full on food. Um, so that's a really good thing, too. I do want to work on opening this sector, though. Do I have extra workers here? 45. That would be enough. What about here? A lot. Uh, let's send, like, 20 workers from here to sector 2. And then let's um, let's start opening this next sector. The reason I'm doing that now, well, actually, do we have enough? Do we have enough um, alloys? Oh yes, we do. Oh yes, we do. Uh, the reason I want to do this now is because we're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of people from um, from the Protagoras, and I yeah, I think I need to. An accident occurred where? Here. Population transfer complete. Okay, that's fine. If we have so much food, we actually can't even unload it all. But yeah, these pods are gonna get full. So let's um, let's let's store some of the pods over here. Uh, we're gonna allow uh, no, not that. They are resources at this point. Uh, cryopods max, and then here, um, cryopods uh, minimum should be fine actually. One crew member died due to environmental effects. Yeah, they're dying outside. Uh, electronics factory disabled. That's fine, I guess. Cargo ship. They're dying outside, but if I repair, if I don't repair, then we're taking a lot of damage. But maybe it's better to turn it on and off. Also, we have uh, some serious health uh, issues here in sector two, so we'll we'll put them in there. And we have just opened up sector three. So let's uh, start with the road, of course. And then I think I want... Let me see here. One, two, three, four. I think I want this here. And then I'm going to want a road here for now. And then a road right there. We'll put up the, uh, the first stockpile here. Um, the second one... Oof. Let's get that one. Let's get that up and running. Get that road up and running, I mean. Because we gotta get this kind of ready to go before too long. This one and that one, please. This one, too. Okay, good. Uh, almost good. This one first. Please, thank you. Okay. Now another road, and that can just go all the way across. That's fine. Uh, let's see. This stockpile I want to put in... Here, I think. We'll put the uh, food in here. And then I want to get also built right after that a um, an infirmary. And I'm just going to put that in right here for now. That'll be fine enough. Probably should have put that one over here. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. Uh, let's see. That'll open up a bunch of a bunch of access to a bunch of alloys. Uh, this one is ready to go. This one here, maybe. And then uh, we'll cut across to this one. And maybe up to oops, up to up to this one. Thank you. Or I could just go across to there. Uh, we could come up to here. Now I'll go. Up, maybe I'll go up from there. Uh, this one I can go like this. All the way straight down to there. This, these can go here. Let's let them build what I have because it'll take too long. And then let's also um, have like 40 alloys in here minimum. That'll help with the building efforts, of course. And the trucks will bring those in. All right, we're bringing these in here. Um, we don't have the housing yet, but we're at least going to get this going, which is the most important piece right now. And then I want to move this road, actually, also out here. But I'm going to wait until they're done with, with this before they start on that. All right. They're loading up stuff here. Um, 
Just gotta wait for that to happen. Um, let's see. We're full on polymers now. Both both bays. Carbon is low, but we can um I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that out of no actually not out of that one. Come back. Out of this one. Power that off. There we go. And then we'll empty this one out to fill that one up, or empty this one partially out, I should say. To fill that one up. Lots of iron still, which is good. Alright, good. They're building this there and there. That one, two. This one, three. You and you. Okay, we have our infirmary now. Now we just need um, housing in here. But I'm going to wait a little bit on housing. We don't need it for, you know, whatever reason uh, right away. Um, we, we also will want to put a DLS in here pretty quickly. But again, I can wait a little bit on that. And I brought, brought over a little too, too much alloys. Let's do this. Put this road here. And then we can come across this way. All the way across... I think so. Uh, maybe not yet. Let's just go like halfway across. There. Yeah, we're just about full. How are we doing on alloys over here? Maybe I should set... Let's see. Sector 1 is set at two, 200 out of 240. Yeah, we could put a little more in, a little more oomph on this one. Let's do like 600 here. That way they'll pull some back for a little while. Or maybe I could even set that limit higher. Uh, we can set it to like 100 then. Caution. I know. I'm waiting. How are we doing on the event? Uh, one more shipment of food, it looks like. Or 40 more food anyway. I think that's. I think the ship can carry 40 now. So that's really good too. And then you... Come over from here, and then this one. You can keep going this way. Uh, you can go this way, this way. There we go, and there. Uh, I can delete this road now. Delete this road now. Oops. There we go. I need an electronics storage. I put one of those up. An accident Maybe has here. In the Actually, let's put up um, two storages. One more for alloys. Accident occurred. Okay. That's what is that? The mate the crew member died again. Environmental effects. We paused. I'm gonna have to send repairs again though. But we did pause repairs, so I guess they'll die anyway because of the uh, the the cold. I guess. I'm actually, not entirely sure. Um, I think I'm gonna move the alloys out of this one though into these two. Uh, the reason being that way they're the same distance from the wall and they'll fill relatively evenly. Otherwise, they kind of won't, and we'll put electronics in this one once that happens. I right, finished my road. We could probably consolidate the heal uh, hydrogen a little bit. We could also um, figure out what we're going to do about this ice. I think we need to start with like this one and empty it. It's not going to quite empty all the way, but uh, that way we at least have some focus. How are we doing? Halfway done almost. Good. Finally, it started. This is full now. We can power it off. And we could start waking people up if we wanted, but I'm going to wait on that. Do some alloys in here. And let them start bringing them in. And then we can change this or increase this, never rather, to like 200 then. 
Oh, maybe I should have waited. Let's wait. Uh, let's just turn it off, actually. We'll do it later. When the time comes later. Let's go straight across the middle. I may end up moving that road, but for now, at least it works. Uh, you can go like this. You can go right there. You can go right there. You guys can go here. There we go. I don't know what the, what the deal is with some of this. Sometimes it doesn't click properly. Um, I don't know if that's me or if that's... Actually, you know what? Do it that way. And then do this way. And then let's delete that piece of road right there. And then maybe you can just do this. Uh, and then this one alloys as well. And then this one can be uh, electronics instead. Okay. Let's do this. The resources necessary for the well-being of the Protagoras crew have been brought aboard. The station's core systems are now online and operational. We spoke with the crew of the Protagoras. It is clear that most of them now wish to pursue a different goal than exoplanet colonization. With their tachyon calculator stolen by the UN and their ability to generate full coordinates with it, they say they will no longer attempt, attempt to reach Remus. Instead, the Protagoras will become a place for life in perpetual displacement. As there are only two sectors of the ship functional, however, the crew accept that they must reduce their numbers there to have a chance at, of enduring such an existence. While some, of, some will leave the Protagoras with heavy hearts, comforted only by the knowledge that they are giving their crewmates the best odds of survival, many more actually wish to join us on the Tycoon and see the mission to reach Remus through to the end. We must welcome them on board the Tycoon before we leave this system and the Protagoras behind. Okay, so now we could Naomi again um, to meet the Elders again, but I do not want to meet the Elders, so we're going to leave the Protagoras instead. We're going to load up all those people. Uh, I think um, uh, uh, the Hermes is ready to do so. So we're going to let them come aboard. Uh, some workers, some not workers. We're going to have to... Uh, send people away from this sector as we get fuller we just hit 500 though so um that's a problem and we have to actually move some people out of here uh quickly or no actually we don't because we put two put two mess halls in here that's right so we don't have to move people away that quickly uh we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen times 52 we can house 676 people um but the protagoras has how many people that want to join us? 170 more. Actually, we might be just perfect. Uh, I might have to send a few people out, but uh, over here or over the other way. But we have we have room here now, uh, still, so we can be fine there if we need to. How's it going over here, you guys? There, 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 there. Let's delete this and that. This one. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Right there. There and there. Yeah, you can see Sector 1's gaining people, but they get housed almost almost instantly. There, 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 there. I can also delete the stuff up above here. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. We go. All integrity below 50%. Well, um, we're repairing it, so I can't really help you there. Sorry. Um, but we do need still to house these people in this sector. Did I research yet demotic quarters? I did not. We can only handle about 1,200 people on the farms we have. Although we do have queued up this intelligent design. Let's do... Um, mm, It'll be fine. Uh, let's. Should we do another farm? How many people do we have left to bring over? 50 more. It's going to be right on the borderline until we get that next farm thing done. I think we should start building the next farm, even if we don't necessarily end up using it right away. We can at least build it and turn it off, at least have it there. That way it's ready to go when we need it. Uh, so, what I want to do here is delete some of these roads. Because they're going to be in my way. Oops. Here, please. This one, this one. And I want to start planning out a residential district. And what the residential district is going to be for is a couple of different things. 
The first one is um, road here, and then a road here. Uh, the first one is housing all of the people who aren't workers. Um, we're going to eventually upgrade these to optimized quarters, but at least I can do some planning with the demotic or with the. With the or we're going to want to make them optimized no, demotic quarters. We can make them optimized quarters for right now. That one there, that one there, this one here, this one here. That would be perfect. I'm going to build. Actually, I only need one. I'm going to build one of these for right now. Uh, come on out and help me build, please. Thank you. Let's undo this. Undo this. And undo this one as well, once those are empty. Actually, they won't... Yeah. They won't pull anyway from there. Until they're cleared all the way through. All right. Uh, who's next? And see, these are nearly full. Who's next? Uh, we do have 24 people unhoused here, so let's uh, move... Let's move some people. Uh, 24. Uh, we'll do uh, non-workers to Sector 2. Incoming transmission. The Protagoras is reactivated and operational. We have received the Etimanenki's full signature. Act with caution when facing this UN superstructure. We are ready to follow to reach Remus. Nothing is holding us back. Oh, next transmission. Uh, you said next, but then there wasn't a next. Okay, well, we can we can jump whenever we want to. Then there's nothing here to do. There's nothing left in this system at all. No resources. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing showing up on the probe. Just doing it quickly, but we've done this a few times, so um, nothing on the nothing to probe, nothing to do, nothing here. So we can actually leave whenever we want. It's going to be a half a cycle in order to fire up the engine. Um, we could move out of this the spot in the system, I suppose, but I don't know that we need to. You can see the people are going down there because they're moving. Um, We'll get that set up, we'll get these people housed, and then I think we'll jump. Oh no, we need to power this sector too. We need to have power in this sector. So let's do a road here. Is that the right spot? No, this is the right spot. Uh, there. And then we're gonna need some batteries here. This is the only problem with having done this before we jumped, is we're gonna need a little bit of power here. Just a couple should be enough, but we need it. Uh, do we have the alloys here? Let's uh, turn this back on now. That we can bring in some more alloys. Like we don't have plenty. But I also want to reduce this number again. Um, let's go down to 400. This is just where it's made, so I want the stock here, but... That way we can have room to move. And then they can start delivering to here, please. You can get there. Why are you not... Population transfer complete. Thank you. Uh, we still have 10... Maybe I wasn't done unloading everybody yet. All right, let's move 10 more people then. That's fine. And we'll again do uh, non-workers. That'll do. There they go. Okay. We'll get a couple of those built, but um, we just need a half a cycle, so it won't take long to charge that much. Although we are a little low on um, power. Maybe after we jump, we build a solar panel. Uh, where are we at with solar panels, by the way? Oh, we need to do this one yet. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to build this one after we jump. I don't want to build it now because we're going to be jumping soon. So, uh, as soon as we have the power. Anyway. We get these 40 people housed here, and then we'll, everybody should be happy enough. Workshop disabled? Well, then we're not going to get them built. Ugh. But I don't want to... Yeah, the, the whole... The weather here is, is a problem, so I want to wait. Dang it. That's a bummer. Okay, go full speed then. Wait, why'd we get... Blackout? Solar panel badly oh. How are this off? How are that off? The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. Solar panel damage. We need to get out of that, out of that storm. Power supply overloaded. Come on, finish up here. Power restored. Uh, 
Uh, we doing good on capacity here? Wow. Yes, but wow, a lot of, a lot of injured people there. But we can at least have this stuff shut down. Actually, we can also shut. We could also shut this one down. We're almost done with it anyway. And I could have this one back then. I think. Yeah, I could have one of these back. I could actually have both of them back. But we have plenty of silicon or uh, electronics made, so I'm okay there. Okay, good. You finally finished that. Everybody's housed now. And this shouldn't take very long to build. I guess we have to go outside to repair the. Solar panels? Yeah, we do. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. But I guess we're doing it now. We're repairing now. Great. We're at 0.7 already. I'll get it to like one or one and a half, maybe. Not gonna take very long either. Okay, there we go. And let's just get out of here. Let's, let's scram. Half cycle, yep. In accordance with Ralph Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Oh, I don't know that I had actually moved Montessori already, but it was we were here anyways. What was that? Wait a minute, I have an event available still here? Um... Oh! Crap! There's more. There's one more event here. And I don't think I can cancel this at all now. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna reload a save and I'll get right back to this point and then I'll be right back. And I'm back. Uh, I did know this was, I, I knew this was coming and I don't know why I didn't, um, I, why I thought we had already done it maybe or something, but we are back now. We're a couple cycles earlier. I was able to get a couple things done a little bit faster than I did the first time around. So let's go ahead and click on the event. The PA, the PA of the Protagoras is unresponsive. It will need to be replaced. We have reached the data storage center of the PA. So we have two choices here. We can install a copy of Eden, where uh, Eden will become the PA of the Protagoras, or we can Naomi protocol the uh, PA, the Protagoras' PA, which, if you recall from the last episode, we recognized his voice. Uh, the PA of the Protagoras will be transferred and stored within the Tycoon. We're going to do this. That's going to take five more cycles, which is good because we are here. I suppose then we could build that. Um, we could build that other solar panel, probably then. Um, because we did just have the one. Oh, we, did, we had the one fail. It just failed again on me. And I didn't come out here and fix it. It was a different one this time. That's the one of the things is some of the events are um, randomly different. Um, so you never really uh, get the exact same outcome even by loading in the same exact save, um, and even one cycle later or whatever later, it's still a slightly different event. So keep that in mind as you're working through different things, because you will not have the same thing happen twice, uh, necessarily. So uh, we do now have that other battery set up, or those batteries set up, and they are gaining a little bit of power, so we should be ready to jump when we're ready to jump. Uh, I just wanna do one other thing. What was the one other thing I wanted to do? I have no idea. We are repairing that solar panel. So, of course, we're taking damage to our hull. We're sustaining damage, or whatever you want to call it. Um, are we still okay on... Or do we still need both of these? We do. Yes, we do. A couple of people came out of it okay, though. I know. We're going to repair uh, as soon as we finish the repair of the solar panel. There we go. I thought about building that additional solar panel, um, but I didn't end up doing it. Um, we still could, or we could wait till we jump. Uh, but since we're so low on hull integrity, I figured I would wait um, and do it after we jumped. Uh, let's take a look at the Protagoras. Three more cycles. Yeah, it's a five-cycle event, so it takes a little bit of time. Let's go uh, full speed here. I could reactivate some of these things now, I guess. Since we fixed the solar panel. Um, we're just about out of silica, silicon again, so it's fine, though. And um, just actually, we burned through most of our iron. Just kind of surprising and kind of not. Docking bay disabled here. That's okay. 
That's the one that the, uh... Uh... Montessori needs to come back to. Shaping, working be shaping worker behavior has been unlocked. What was the one that I wanted to do next? Uh, this was crop farm. Um... I've forgotten what it was now. What was the one I wanted to do? Hmm. Rain equals damage. Oh, the demonic quarters, right? Let's go ahead and queue that one up. We'll probably want to do this, but we need... Yeah, we need to up unlock that uh, Cryonic Center upgrade first. Group decryonization. That's the second one here? Okay. We're not earning any science, but... Wait, did we, did we do the five per? We did. Okay, good. Ah, good. Okay. We have repatriated the PA of the Protagoras. 60 science. Okay, we will get science. And then let's uh, leave the Protagoras, actually for reals this time, and grab the Montessori. Oh, no, don't grab the Montessori. Leave them there. Leave them there. They need to collect that 60 science, and then we can finally jump. <laughs> then we can finally jump. We have a lot of alloys made. Just about full, actually. Um, in fact... These will cap out at... Okay, we're a little less than just about full. Why does it say the max is only 1,200? I guess that's about right. Let's do this, too. Go fast. Go faster. I did also enable food to be shipped here. I think I put it at 100. Um, I did. I forgot about that the first time through, so now we're good. And Sector 3 is negative. Why is Sector 3 negative? I don't know, but we could build a um, DLS. Yeah, let's build that. I um, guess that's fine. We're rearranging this sector again anyways. So we'll move it around later if we need to. We have plenty of power here. Plenty. Oh yes, plenty. And we get all the science. Let's move the Montessori back uh, to the Tycoon. And then we can get out of here. I think. I think we're ready to jump. Do it. Engage for real this time. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Mm hmm. Ixian engine ready. Commence jump. Gotta watch this one, too. at the end might be my favorite part. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. 
Expected irreversible damage to the Tycoon detected. We have not reached the exoplanet Remus. Tycoon primary sensors are picking up vast amounts of debris. Act with caution, Administrator. We must reach Remus. Welcome to Chapter 3. And welcome to the Theta Crucius system. Alright, so we have a couple of things to deal with. Um, first off, we need to investigate the command center wreckage. And we also need to locate a viable planet for continued experiments, uh, colonization experiments. As soon as this gets done, which should be in a moment, uh, intelligent design unlocked. That means that we want to queue up what? That was the second crop farm one. I think that's probably good for now there. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. This one. We can get to the group decarinization thing. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Batteries are on fire. Well then. How do we get both of our batteries on fire? That's quite something. Um, I think they auto repair, right? Yeah, here you come. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's see. We need to do more repairs. We have, oops, we have um, only two of these, and they're not enough to repair the ship anymore. So we actually have to set up a third EVA airlock. My initial thought was to put it here in Sector 3, but actually I don't want to do that. I actually want to remove this from here. We're going to put it in Sector 3. And then I'm going to delete that road, and I'm going to put the other EVA airlock, hopefully, in here. Uh, space, there we are. Yep, it'll fit perfectly right in there. Uh, I have to remove one or both of these, though. There we go. Uh, so I need to actually unload some of this to somewhere else. Uh, you can take on uh, all of it. Let's pause one of these for now, or maybe both of them for now. Just so we can uh, make sure we can move these alloys around enough. Because we need to push them out of here. But while we're doing that, let's go back out to the space view. And let's start doing some scanning, some probing here. Why don't we look for those three? That's a good spot. Almost. 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 Come on, Wally. Shaky hands. So I should probably use my precision control there. I know we can get all three of these. I know you can get in there. Shake my hand around me. Oh, I had it. I think I had it. I almost got it. There it is. Told you. Uh, we need to send the Montessori here to the destroyed command center. That didn't take long. And then let's uh, we can, we can collect the science, or we can just do the event. Initial reports indicate that we have found the wreckage of the Etemenaki's command center. The UN ship appears to have been attacked. Although the command center of the Etemenaki is heavily armored, the structure has suffered has suffered terrible bombardment. It appears as if something sliced through the larger superstructure of the Etemenaki. This must have dislodged the center and separated it from the rest of the ship. Numerous pieces of debris and corpses float around the ruin. We have located a, a breach within the armor plating that should allow us to get inside. Gee, where would you find that breach at? Let's enter the command center. A couple of cycles later, we'll be in. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, we have plenty of room to store there. Just gotta offload it. Let's uh, do this and the propaganda, like we did everywhere else. A probe has completed its scan. And the probe found everything. And the mining ships are good enough. Um, enough at least. Yeah, that is. 
and uh, these should all be set just fine. So we'll collect those items. We have another probe to send. Uh, let's go. Ice, carbon, or should we go to POI? Let's do POI next. There, please. Mounted quarters are done. And then uh, we'll wait until after we finish the research we're doing, then we can do the next one. And we're going to want to build the demotic quarters. I wish you could just, like, upgrade in place, but you can't. Which is kind of annoying. Um, but let's build a demotic quarter. These are expensive. 80 alloys and 1 electronics. But they house, like, 90, 91 people, I think, at our current level. Compared to the 52. Excuse me, 52 of this. All right. Uh, Montessori... The frozen rooms through which the Montessori's team have had to navigate are from a nightmare. Projectile damage covers most surfaces, and there are signs of electrical fires having raged throughout the corridors. This is not to discount the ever-present grim sight of severed corpses. Upon entering the bridge, the team discovers the bodies of the commander-in-chief and other officers. It appears they took their own lives. We must retrieve the Remus data. The tycoon should be kept in close proximity to the command center. This will allow the Montessori's team to use the station's power via the retractable telescopic pole and access the center's terminals. So now we want to recover the coordinates of, of the exoplanet Remus. And the probe has found the reactor wreckage. Uh, let's maybe find some ice we saw some ice and some carbon over here maybe we could hit that up real quick there we are and then we can do some more uh, poi searching after that because it can take them a while to get that stuff mined and collected anyway so we'll be fine uh we should enable this one though because we're going to start bringing in iron pretty soon and we can actually enable both of these again now uh, power this on bring that in it's done already that got us some ice and some carbon so that'll be fine uh, specifically the ice a sector has converted to the Cult of the Hull. This has had a positive impact on the morale of the crew. The converts are waiting to hear your opinion on their worship. Sanctifying the Tycoon and its facilities does not directly violate any Dolos directives. So, we can embrace the writings of Bargeville. The Tycoon is a body. The Hull is its skin. We are its blood. Or we can suppress the cult. I don't actually know what the outcome of this is full term, but um, why the heck not, right? Embrace the cult of the uh, heretic or whatever. There we go. And uh, silicon carbon. I think I'll need to activate this one again now. So you can bring the carbon into there. We'll probably have to have one of these for silicon eventually again, but we're fine for now. Um, ooh. Pledge to turn on every Kranic Center in Sector 1 for 30 cycles. Oh, well, while Sector 1 has contained potential new crew members in cryopods for a while now, there are no active Kranic Centers in the sector. This leaves the crew extremely concerned. No one likes Kranic sleep, and some of them still remember the first Kranic accidents during the Earth's epidemics. To allay their fears, the cryopods' inhabitants should be awoken as soon as possible. Let's do it. And then let's um, send them to Sector 3. And here. Administrator, the debris field we have entered is mostly composed of corpses. The floating bodies bump against the hull and create sounds that reverberate throughout the tycoon sectors. This is not proving beneficial for crew morale. DLS reports indicate that EVA crews are discussing their experiences working outside the tycoon with colleagues in mess halls, compounding the problem. Understood. Okay, so we're down to one power. Oh yeah, we need to build that uh, thingy. This one? And yeah, this one here? Yes, please. Let's uh, turn off, just for a little while, one of these again. That way we do not have any issues, and let's actually power this one off instead. Because we don't have any silicon coming in yet, anyway. So we have this uh, global effect called Corpse Field. The station is surrounded by floating corpses. The crew's morale will be affected. Yet yeah, you don't say. And then we need to put in... I need to delete this little bit of road right here, too. And then we need to put in um, our uh, EVA thingy, although we actually don't need it right now. But we're going to need it, so we're going to put it in. And then we can just build a road, say, here to it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then they will uh, get that built. Sector 1 contains too many people. Oh, you should be unloading these people into Sector 3. 
Uh, actually, I don't want that to be 500. I want it to be 676 for right now, at least. So I don't know why it's not sending the people there, but I guess we can send... Um, we can send, like, 90 people anyway. That's not people. 90 uh, non-workers to Sector 3. Start migration, please. This will get done in a moment. There it is. I can bring in some more uh, alloys here. Uh, the silicon's filling up now. Great. And our power is upgraded. Upgrading. Uh, up to something? Yeah. It's upgrading because we turned off the electronics. Um, they're working on it slowly. Let's see here. We did build this. Let's get... Uh, these all built. And I just thought of what other technology I want to do. But I think we'll stick with this one for right now. Or should I? No, I think we should come out here. Hull integrity below 50%. Augmented building protocols. A this one. Has completed a task. Ah, good. Yeah, no hull integrity is low. It's fine. We'll get back to it. Administrator, the Remus coordinates aren't here. As you know, Vol coordinates are incredibly complex algorithms that require advanced technology for their storage and application. We did identify a storage area within the command center where such equipment, perhaps including that stolen from the Protagoras, should have been held. It has been ripped away, shorn, clean, shorn by cutting lasers, and taken. There is some small hope. A single damaged calculator terminal was found. Power supplied from the Tycoon has allowed us to access it. It appears that in the Antimonaki's final moments, when they attempted to address the colossal damage done to their ship, the crew were able to identify and record the self-similar signature of their attacker as it withdrew. Perhaps they hoped to later mount some sort of pursuit to recover the stolen coordinates of Remus. We are now in possession of that signature. It belongs to the Piranesi, a ship of the Black Market Society. This is where our hope fades. The few officers logged we have found that detail the attack are terrifying. It seems highly unlikely that the coordinates of the Remus uh, seems highly likely that the coordinates of the Remus are now on board the Paranasi. Having processed the data we have found within the center, and thanks to old recordings of now inactive distress signals, we have been able to locate other parts of the Etapanaki which have drifted across this system. Forty science. So we can investigate further in the, into the Piranesi's attack, or we can determine the Antimonaki's previous mission objectives. We can actually do both of these, so we'll just go ahead and pick the first one. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. All right, that's fine. That's fine. But I also just noticed the time. So I think what we're going to do actually is leave this here and uh, return. Uh, let's see, actually, should I? No, we're fine still for a little while. We'll return in the next episode to uh, continue... Um, continue the work here in this system, the Theta Crucius system, and um, finish the destroyed command center, and then move on to some of the other uh, areas, the other points of interest out here, like, for example, this one that's over here hiding from me. Maybe. Over here? Somewhere? There's one. Okay, good. We'll move on to the, move on to these other, these other uh, places, and then we can um, proceed from there. We'll see what happens. Uh, so thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.